I've been running an oversized pulley wheel on my bikes for the last six months and do I like it? Did it stay on it? Does it go well? What's my feedback? What's my thought? Well, that's everything I'm going to talk about into this long-term review of the Nova oversized pulley wheel. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. So in the past six months, there were about two or three videos about the Nova oversized pretty wheel, but I feel I haven't given you guys my honest feedback riding this thing for the last six months. So I will not go into the details of the spec of the oversized pretty wheel or how to mount it on your bike. You can watch my other videos for all of that information or just go to the Nova website. So I want to say one thing right off the bat. Do not buy this thinking you're going to save watts. And all the research out there are sort of biased. They are all in control environment, and yes, they can reduce friction because of the oversized pulley wheel, but at the same time, you do encounter more of an aero drag. But we're gonna get more into that later into this video. If you do and it makes you happy or it's a placebo effect, well, that's great for you. And the reason why I mounted one on my bikes, at least the time trial bike and my real bike, is I do think they look good. They look cool. It's just a little something you add to your bike for a little bit more coolness factor, in my opinion. Some people hate them, some people don't find them cool or hot, but I do. And I just don't care about what other people say. If it looked great on my bike, well, I might be. So speaking about the style, it, what's great is that you can pick the color of your oversized pulley wheel. And as you guys saw on my time trial bike, I have the gold Nova oversized pulley wheel. So it really pops with my black bike and I, I liked it. I might even put a gold chain as well soon over there. And on my road bike, the pulleys are the exact same blue as the frame. So it's just for a really nice color match. So here, color match, here's color pop, love it. It feels great. And I also have some spare pulleys, which are black, so I could put that on any bikes uh, because the black pulley will just match anything. And now before putting on into the drawbacks, let's put one thing clear. Yes, there's less resistance from this bearing and this pulley wheel. When you do compare it to the regular Shimano one, which absolutely just doesn't spin, it's like a bushing there. You look at this, it just makes sense. You're saving watts just because uh, this doesn't spin and this spins a lot. This is the same for the bottom one. So yes, at that point, it makes sense. You save some watts. And now the biggest drawbacks of these oversized pulley wheel is that they do make more aero drag. So when you put them side by side, the pulley goes lower than the other one, which is a bit beefier in the back of the bike, which does technically lead to more aero drag. So the watts you're winning from the less friction here, you're probably losing them in aero drag. And now the science doesn't really tell it yet. Is the aero drag loss bigger than the gain from the less friction? I don't know, I don't have the tools or the knowledge to prove it or test it. I just like to tell myself that the gains from the pulley equals the loss from the aero drag. So in the end, it doesn't make any difference at all. All right, let's now discuss the drawbacks of the Nova oversized pulley wheel. And it actually does impact the shifting. Hey, what's up guys, Charles from two months after the first part of this video. So I decided to not post that video back then because something changed at Nova. Just when I was ready to post my 6,000 kilometers review, the guys at Nova messaged me and said, Charles, we have an updated design and it will improve and fix all the shifting issues. But now with their updating design, I have absolutely no issues at all. It feels exactly the same as the stock pulley from Shimano. I had to put on all this video and here I am finally doing my now 10,000 kilometer review with the Nova oversized pulley wheel. And I had a little bit of shifting issues with the original design, but that is completely off and removed and fixed by the updated design. So let's take a deeper look at that design and see what are the changes. So at a quick glance, you look at them, they look pretty similar, right? Uh, they have the same carbon fiber. The older version here, the axle is quite off of the center of the pulley. As you can see here, it's maybe like a five or six centimeters off. Uh, and this was to give more clearance for the oversized pulley. And now with their updating design, the axle of the pulley is exactly aligned with the middle of the top jockey wheel. And this is really awesome because now the top pulley wheel is actually closer to the cassette, which result in faster shifting speed. And also I want to mention this oversized pulley wheel. I've been riding them for 8,000 kilometers. Look at those pulley. I did not maintain them. I did not clean the ceramic bearings. This is no joke. 
it's spinning forever and ever and that is after 8,000 kilometers and as you see these are brand new and they basically feel the exact same that is awesome the durability of the nova i give it a 10 out of 10 i had no problem but now with the updated design super looking forward to see how they hold up for another 10,000 kilometers also you guys have to note that the new design is two grams lighter so Again, weight gains is super important. And this is still lighter than the original stock pulley wheel from Shimano. So in the event that you're going for a weight reduction, even though this seems bigger overall, it's still lighter than the Shimano one. So hey, weight gains is always a gain. Also something I wanna mention is that the updated design is also easier to adjust on your derailleur. It's basically just tuning in your regular derailleur. Uh, you just maybe need to put the B screw a little bit further than the original Shimano one. I do think you don't need quite expensive knowledge in bike mechanics to be able to adjust your own oversized pulley wheel. And in the event you can't figure it out, just bring it to your local bike shop. The guys will be able to help you out. But I wanna say the installation is totally doable at home. It can be a little bit complicated if you have never touched a derailleur in your life. But for me and my other friends, we've been able to install it without no problems at all. So in overall, do I recommend the oversized pulley wheel from Nova? And my answer is yes, I do. If you are like me and you care about the aesthetics of your bike, totally go for the Nova one. There's more colors than Ceramic Speed. I, th I think Ceramic Speed, there's like, there's no colors at all, but it's also two times the price. So this is a affordable option. It retails about 230 euros, 280 USD. So it is quite expensive, but it's about half the price of the Ceramic Speed and all the other high end ones. And to be honest, I like it. It shifts well. I've put it on all my bikes and I do recommend it for everyone who is looking to add a little bit of personality to your bike with colors and style. And if you don't like the oversized pulley wheel, well, you can still get something from Nova. I think it's super clever from them to do this. Is actually they've come up with uh, regular pulleys, as you see here. Uh, these can go onto your regular Shimano uh, derailleur or SRAM. It's super easy to swap. I haven't tested them yet. Got them in two colors. I think I'm gonna put these Oop. gray or silver one. Uh, I might put these on my gravel bikes. And these gold one might go on Gabriel's bike. Not too sure about it yet. But this is cool because you have the same ceramic bearings. Uh, it's quite less expensive than the whole oversized system. And it's just a nice little upgrade from your regular bushings, pulley wheels that comes from your Shimano stock one. Uh, so again, check these out. There are about seven or eight colors available now. That's awesome. You save probably some watts because of the ceramic bearings and it does look awesome of course. All right guys so this is a little side by side here of both of my Nova. So the under my wind space it's the updated design and this is the older version and as you can see here it does quite a lot have the offset here from the top pulleys and as on, on the other one it's exactly aligned. So I do feel that because of this change uh, the, the whole system will be quite higher and will be a bit closer so a bit less aero drag as well on the new design instead of the other ones all right guys this is it for today's deal if you enjoyed please don't forget leave a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't already in the event you're in the market for a new oversized pulley wheel or if you're now in the market for an oversized pulley wheel definitely check out the nova website there will be a link into the description down below Use my code CharlesMoney10 to get 10% off at checkout. I want to mention I do receive a kickback from that sale, so it funds this YouTube channel for me to become a full-time cyclist, so thank you. Once again, I approve this oversized pulley wheel. I've put it on all my bikes. I like it, and I'm sure you will not be disappointed. All right, my name is Charles, and I will see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.